The universe is a ball of mystery, an ever constant question that needs to be solved. Most times the answer comes so easy, as other times the answers do throw scientists off their radar. And now, scientists have just made such astonishing discoveries in none other than the coldest continent in the world, Atlantica. This cold continent is not only submerged in a massive body of water, but below its surface there seems to be something lurking below this vast body of ice that shouldn't be. Watch this video to the end to find out about scientists' recent discoveries under the ice of Atlantica. This is Posh Future, where we discuss the latest trends in science and technology. Ensure you like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay connected to our videos as soon as they are uploaded. We would all agree that Atlantica does not fall on our getaway list. I mean, except if you want to get your fingers frozen off your hands, Atlantica should always remain where Atlantica is. Now, would you believe if we told you that Atlantica hasn't always been the ice school company we've come to know it as? Well, that is also true. In fact, research suggests that Atlantica was just a normal continent like every other one out there until they started freezing about 34 million years ago between the Eocene and Oligocene epochs. The question is, what changed for Atlantica? Why is it not renowned as a South Pole? 34 million years ago, a largely pronounced climatic change caused the South Pole and the North Pole to start freezing very quickly. Within the twinkle of an eye, the pole became filled with giant balls of ice and became dangerous for human existence. Since then, we've come to see the continent being portrayed in documentaries as a lonely and cold continent. Scientists from across the different millennials have tried various means of discovering the cause of this vast climatic change to no avail. Recently, scientists explored the much dreaded continent only to come up with a shocking revelation. Atlantica is hiding a huge amount of water beneath its surface. Scientists have always suspected that there might be groundwater buried beneath the body of ice, but until now, there hasn't been concrete evidence to back up this claim. Scientists over the years studied microfossils in the deep sea mud to determine the temperature of Atlantica. This method enabled them to measure the temperature of the continent as well as comprehend what truly caused the climatic changes some years back. Presently, scientists discovered that the rise in the temperature of the ocean at some point in time was primarily responsible for the freezing of Atlantica. As the ocean became warmer, corridors of relatively fast-paced ice sheets flowed into the ocean. Yet, this revelation was not a shred of conclusive evidence for scientists. Therefore, their quest took them to Tanzania in Africa, where they started the land drilling process to find answers. The scientific exploration team consists of scientists from Amgwedfa Gaimras and Cardiff University. During drilling, they came upon ancient mud deposited at the bottom of the sea some million years ago. This discovery set Tanzania as a viable candidate for scientists' exploration because the land presented them with a large deposit of sand and soil, likewise a wide array of finding millions of answers to their quest. These scientists have made use of microfossils in the mud to map out information about ice formation and the rise in the temperature over the millennium. As a result, they have concluded that as the temperature of the ocean drops, the Antarctica zone starts to get colder with ice sheets appearing all over. In fact, scientists have investigated what truly makes these ice sheets appear on the North and South Poles. They began the investigation by surmising a change in the concentration of carbon dioxide might be a major factor in the cooling of the Earth's surface. In addition, the Earth's orbit around the Sun could also be a contributing factor in the unfrozen nature of these ice sheets all year long. Well, it is no news that Atlantica is gradually reducing in size, and we can blame this on global warming. Recently, a group of scientists have been working ceaselessly around the clock to determine if this shrinkage might have a negative effect on humans. Perhaps, could it be determined if the global warming event could necessitate the return of Atlantica back to its pre-ice state? Now, Jonathan Clages, a marine geologist and one of the scientists to embark on this mission, revealed that they had been drilling into the seabed with the aid of their ultra-modern drilling equipment 
to investigate the existence of age-long fossil materials in the water body. The use of this equipment gave Clarges and his colleagues access to 90 million years of layers of sediments. Clarges describes the access to these layers as walking through the pages of history. The commencement of this mission has led the group of scientists to landmark discoveries. The summary of their exploration was that the poles are warming much quicker than the rest of the planet. As the ice sheets melt, the occurrence of global warming on the Earth's surface accelerates quickly. Yet, another shocking discovery made by scientists in Antarctica seems like something to pop out of a horror movie. It is the eerie blood falls. The existence of a bright crimson, five stories high waterfall oozing out from the Antarctica ice was something that raised alarm in the scientific world. Scientists were kept constantly on their toes in seeking answers to the strange occurrence. Microbiologist Jill Mikoki of the University of Tennessee published what now stands as the acceptable explanations for blood falls. According to Jill and her team of scientists, her study reveals that the blood fall water contains almost no oxygen and housed a community of at least 17 different types of microorganisms thought to be flowing from a lake trapped beneath the ice for a duration of about 2 million years. The trapped body of water is about three times saltier than the average seawater, with a very high concentration of iron. As the water comes in contact with air, the iron present oxidizes, producing a dark red stain. Another mysterious circumstance discovered by scientists in Antarctica is the eerie and mournful singing produced on an ice shelf. Now, the Ross Ice Shelf is the largest ice shelf in Antarctica. It is measured about 500,000 square kilometers. Scientists recently discovered this low mournful tune sang at a frequency of 5 hertz was caused by winds across the snow dunes. The sounds were discovered by accident after seismic sensors were installed on the ice shelf to monitor other aspects of the ice shelf behaviors. Although these tunes might be inaudible to the human ears, scientists were able to eavesdrop, making use of the seismic sensors. Scientists have since discovered that these tunes change in response to events that affect the snow surface and ice. Finally, scientists made the shocking revelation about a hole opening up all of a sudden in Antarctica in the year 2017. Although there has been an existence of other holes in Antarctica, this particular one stands out due to its massive size of 78,000 square kilometers, and scientists have referred to this hole as the polymer. The formation of the polymer could largely be attributed to the presence of warm salty water beneath the deeper part of the sea. This warm water was pushed out by the ocean's currents melting the ice on the surface. Thus, as the water comes in contact with the cooler parts of the ocean, it appears to be reheated again and pushed back to the surface. Well, scientists haven't found concrete evidence of the creation of the polymer. However, they are constantly working to solve the mystery of this strange occurrence. Thanks for watching this video. Let us hear your opinions on the shocking discoveries made under the ice of Atlantica in the comment section below.